Hey there, I have some pro tips for you which can help you save some precious time of your day when you're using your phone. No, you don't need to download any applications for this, everything is already on your phone. So let's get started. Are you not happy with the battery life of your phone? Are you not able to make it through the whole day on one single charge? Do you feel that you always wanted more battery life? No need to worry, we have something which can give you 70 years of battery life on just one single charge. The market price of this product is 50,000 rupees, but it can be all yours in just 10 rupees. Call now on this number. This lifetime offer is only valid for next 24 hours. Hurry. Okay, don't take that seriously, please. I don't know about 70 years, but I can show you a way which can give you 70 minutes worth of extra battery life. First, you need to turn on the developer settings on your phone by going into the settings and then scroll down all the way to see about the phone. In here, keep on tapping the build number until you see a message which says you are a developer now. Go back to the main settings and at the bottom of this page, you'll see developer settings. Tap on it and find a setting which says doze mode. Make sure to turn it on. What it does is it automatically closes all the background applications when they are not being used for a long time. This feature was introduced uh, two, three years ago, but now it is turned off when you first time set up your phone. And since last few months, this has been buried in developer settings. It will surely help in improving the battery life of your phone. I know you use your phone to type a lot on it and some of you out there are keyboard ninjas. And in between of typing something, you sometimes want to type a symbol. It can be a dash, an underscore or maybe at the rate symbol. It can be any symbol you want to type. But you know what? It slows you down. You are typing and then you have to tap on the show symbols icon and then you tap on the symbol you want to type. That's a big three step process. Let me show you how you can do it in just one step. Go to the settings, keep scrolling down until you see the language and input. Open it and open the virtual keyboard. After that, just tap on Gboard. Here we need to change some preferences. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Here you'll see an option called key long press delay. The default value is set to 300 milliseconds. That is way too much of waiting. And the minimum value is 100 milliseconds, which is way too much quick for us. After testing this trick for many days, I have found that 130 milliseconds is the perfect sweet spot. Now, here is the magical part. Turn on this setting called long press for symbols. Open up anything where you want to type. And now on the keyboard, you'll see the symbols along with the alphabets. When you're typing, you just have to hold the key and the symbol you want will be on your screen in just 130 milliseconds. That is way too much quicker than the method most of you are using right now. All of a sudden, the thing which was three step process has now become one step process. If you feel that 130 milliseconds is way too much fast for you, then try and experiment with 140 or 150 milliseconds. It's totally up to you. If you're using Nova Launcher on your phone, then here is a pro tip for making phone calls like a magic. On the home screen of your Nova Launcher, hold on any app icon and then tap on this pencil like button. You will see swipe action is set to none. Tap on it and here you can assign a shortcut for calling a person you want. Swipe right to go to the shortcuts page. Tap on direct dial option. Here you will get to choose one phone number. Choose and then tap on done. Now, when you swipe up on this app icon, it will call that person in just 0.5 seconds. That will save you a lot of time and this can be done with any app icon on your home screen. Here is one more time saving pro tip. When you are in some app and you tap on the three dots on top right or top left corner, you then have to tap on the thing you want to do. That is one plus one step which equals to two. Let's make it just one step. Next time when you are in some app and you see three dots you want to use, rather than tapping on it, just hold it for half second and then you can swipe up and down to select the thing you want to do. Once you choose, just take off your finger and that thing will be done. If you feel that your fingerprint sensor is very slow, then here is what you can do to make the speed of your fingerprint sensor somewhat better than before. Go to the security section of your phone in settings and then add the same finger 2-3 times. This will give the extra data of your finger to the sensor on your phone. And when next time you unlock your phone, you will certainly notice the reduced times of fingerprint sensor. There are times when you're in a situation where a song is playing in the background and you really want to know the name of the song. But for that, you don't have to ask the Google Assistant in that loud situation. You just have to hold on the home screen, go to the widgets and then keep scrolling until you see the Google section and drag the music widget on your home screen. When the song is playing, just tap on it and your phone will start listening and analyzing the song.
After a few seconds, it will show you the results. But keep in mind, it is not always correct. Now you have certainly attained the pro degree in the Masters of Android. Let me know if you learned something from this video or not. And I will love you guys even more if you share this video with your friends and help them become a pro too. Like, share and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content which is coming soon. Until then, take care of those pixels.